Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2023 WDF Lakeside World Championships draw, brought to you by Quiff, Windmill, and ANG Travel. I've been joined by two legends of the game. I've got the 10-time world champion, the Golden Girl, Trina Gulliver, and the 2015 Lakeside World Champion, Scott Mitchell. Welcome, guys. How are we? Good, thank you. Yeah. Good. You no, okay, all good. Scott? Yeah, absolutely good. brilliant. Yeah, looking this forward to This is a repeat of last last year, the 2022 draw. You guys were here as well and did a fantastic job. So, look, we, we stuck with the tried and tested, right? So, uh, well, I'm not sure all the players would agree with that, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, we will we will um i'll tell you what to get things started break the ice a little bit we've got 30 men that are debutants at the tournament this year and we've got eight ladies that are debutants so if i can take you back as debutants how did you feel when you first sort of walked in the lakeside and how did you play the start with trina well it, the first time for for us was the actual first women's world championship of so course. so uh you know it's very special and um, there was only four players in it then. So there was myself, Francis Hansler, Maddie Solomons, and Chrissy Howitt, now Manly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a very special. That's where this all started off. So that's always a very special uh, moment. And for something us. you've been trying to push as a, a yeah, in, in absolutely. The as Ever well, since so. you know, it's um, we tried to get our own world championship for a long time, and it finally come along with uh, a few discussions with the the then BDO. Yeah. And. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it. You know, to get that in the calendar was was uh, very important, and now the the game's just gone from strength to strength. Brilliant, yeah. Twenty four players this year. Scott, then go on. Then how was your debut? How did you find it? I'm kind of the fan that made it as a dart player, so I'd been there as a fan. So the whole aura of the place, I knew about it and how how great it was. But when I walked out on that first walk out, I, I was in no control of my hands and my legs. I felt like a Thunderbird puppet. And, uh, and, 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 I didn't, and I didn't know what to do with my hands, whether to walk out, how to how to do it. I was just in total awe of the place. And, and you uh, had the Scotty dogs as well, didn't you? Was that I the, did, was that yes. the debut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so it was just one of those. I tried to do that to, to take my mind off the nerves. Yeah. That was the whole idea of that in the, yeah. in the first place. Brilliant. Give something else to think about. But... Um, so, yeah, just just iconic place and an amazing thing to do. Fantastic. So now we've scared the thirty eight debutants in, <laughs> and of course the 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 um the youth as well. The four boys and the two girls are going to be debutants. So yeah. thirty eight plus four plus two is about forty four. If my maths is anywhere near right, forty four debutants. Your yeah, maths should be good. It should be. You're right. Okay, let's go to the other end of the scale then. So, um, who question for you? Who do you think uh, is the lady that has played in the most world championships? Or that's there this year, because obviously the, the ones right. that are there this year, because yeah. otherwise it would have been yourself, I'd, right? I'd say Dita. Scott? Yeah, I'd say Dita or Lorraine. It is Dita and then Lorraine. You're right. Well done. I'm impressed. Well, now let's do it for the men, because this will be different. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We, when we go from here, I'll get the dinner in. If either of you can guess the man that has been to the most world championships. <laughs> I'm trying to think who was around around yeah. when I started. Ah, right. And Go you on started then. before me, so I'm trying to think who's still around now. Go on then, guys. Dave Prince. Are you looking at my notes? No, why is that right? Honestly, that, that is unbelievable. <laughs> that is true. Dinner all round then, kid. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't well, have said that. I'd have said Mark Borelli. Oh, you've got the second place. So oh, right, Mark okay. has played five times at Lakeside and Dave's played six. Oh, God. That's going to cost you then? That's going to cost yeah. me the dinner. Right, I think we should move on, right? Let, let's <laughs> let's get into the draw and move on from that. So the way the draw is going to work, we have 16 men's seeds. They will be drawn against uh, a, a, a game between a player from the players ranked 17 through to 32 and, or a player ranked between 33 and 48, which are the games that we're going to draw now. Trina is going to draw the players ranked between 17 and 32. Scott, between 33 and 48. I'll read out the seed. You do the draw. Let's see how it goes. Okay. I'll try. Yep. Let's go then. Our first player, and we're going to do it in bracket order. So the uh, the men's bracket starts with the number one seed, which is Andy Bartons, the Belgian. He's the Australian and Denmark Open champion. And he will play... Number 32. Number 32, which is Scott Marsh. Or, Scott, your first ball, please. And then we're really getting into the swing of things. Then. Number 45. Number 45 is the pole Sebastian Bielecki. So that's a, 
the first game. Arts. Made some enemies already. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Second game is uh, seed number 16, which is Gary Stone, the Romanian classic champion from Scotland, and he will play... Number 30. Number 30, which is Aaron Turner, or... Number... 43. And the 43 is the Swede Ricky Nauman, who's the former Torch fan and Riga Open finalist. Seed number eight, Northern Ireland's The Daddy, Barry Copeland. He's the World Masters finalist, of course, and he will play... Number 21. Number 21, which is Johnny Tatter from New Zealand, or... Number 39. Number 39 is Scotland's Sean McDonald. So... That's our third game. Number nine seed, Mark Borelli from Scotland. Dutch Open finalist this year, of course, and he will play. Number 20. Number 20 is Hungary's Patrick Kovac. He's the Hungarian Masters, won it just this Sunday, so in form. Or number 38. Number 38, the American Jim Widmer, Captain America. On to... Number four seed, James Hurrell, the England captain. Number 29. 29 is England's Jordan Brooks, the Scottish Open champion. Or... Number 36. Number 36, which is the Swede Dennis Nielsen, the former Riga Open, Riga Open champion. On to seed number 13, the Netherlands' Alexander Merckx. Play number 18. We'll play number 18, which is... Australia's Danny Porter, the Australian Masters champion, or Scott? Number 46. It doesn't mean he's playing you, Scott. Well, I shouldn't have no, said I wish it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number 46 is Arian Konterman of the Netherlands. On to the number five seed, the current Winmau World Master, Wesley Plaisir. You play number 31. Number 31 is, oh, I don't want to say this, Davy Prince, who's cost me dinner tonight, or... Number 44. It is England's Rhys Coley, British Open champion, recently played for England in the World Cup. On to number 12 seed, Peter Machin. And Machi, who's won three WDF ranked titles in 2022. Play play, number 26. Which is England's James Richardson, Denmark Masters champion and British Classic champion formerly. Number 48. Uh, or... Austria's Christian Gödel, who is the World Championship qualifier. Now we move to the current World Champion, Mr. Neil Duff. And Neil will play either... Number 23. Which is Moreno Bloom of the Netherlands, the Budapest Classic Champion, or... Number 41. Which is the Hungarian Gabor Takac, the former Swiss and Iceland Open Champion. On to number 15 seed, Martin Turner, who's the Welsh Open champion. We'll play number 17. And Martin will play number 17, which is Liam Mendel-Lawrence from Germany. He's a Slovak, Swiss and Helvetia Open champion. Or number 35. 35 is the Welshman, Mike Gillett, who's been a semi-finalist at the Slovak Open and the British Open. On to seed number seven, which is Chris Landman, the countryman. Number 25. Number 25 is the first ever Slovenian to get to uh, Lakeside, which is Benjamin Pratnamar. Or... Number 40. The Scotsman Davy Kerwin, the Scottish Open semi-finalist. Then we move to number 10 seed, Kai Fan Leung of Hong Kong. Number 27. We'll play number 27, which is the Swiss Thomas Junghans, or... Number 42. Number 42 is the Englishman David Pallet, who's the former England Open champion. On to the former champion, the 2006 Lakeside World Champion, Jelle Klassen. Number 19. We'll play number 19, the Romanian Laszlo Kadar, or... Number 34. The Swede Edwin Torbjonsson. Okay, number 14 seed Darren Johnson. Number 24. We'll play number 24, which is Anthony Allen of, of England. Or number 
33. 33 is the Dutchman Denny Oldekoltar, the former Swedish Masters champion. Two more seeds awaiting their opponents. The next is number six seed, the, uh, the American, I beg your pardon, Danny Lauby, who will play... Number 28. Number 28, which is Jamie Lewis. Or... Number 47. Number 47, which is the Netherlands' Jano Bottenberg. So that leaves just the French touch. There's number 11 seed Thibaut Tricol, and he will play... Number 22. Which is the American Leonard Gates, or I'm hoping you're going to say number 37. 37. <laughs> 37 is correct. He's the New Zealander Brian Corbett. So that completes the draw for the men's world championships. So we now move on to the ladies' draw for the 2023 WDF Lakeside World Championships, brought to you by Quiff, Windmill, and ANG Travel. We are going to we have eight lady seeds, and uh, as we did with the men, Trina will draw the balls between nine and sixteen, and Scott will draw seventeen through to twenty-four. Again, if my maths is correct, I hope that's right. And uh, yeah, let's start. So we start, of course, with our number one seed, the Lakeside World Champion, Bo Greaves, and Bo will be playing against either number fifteen. Number fifteen is Scotland's Lorraine Hyde. Or number 22. Or number 22, which is England's Laura Turner. There's a tie to start the, start the ladies off with. Second seed, or sorry, I beg your pardon, the second seed that we're going to draw with, the number eight seed, Anka Zilstra. We'll play number 12. Play either America's Paula Murphy. Or number 24. Or the Spaniard, the first Spaniard lady to get to Lakeside, Almundina. Fajara, she's the World Masters finalist. On to the number four seed, Dieter Hebman. Number 10. And Dieter will be playing against the lady from the Netherlands, Aleta Vaya, or... Number 19. England's Paula Jacqueline. The number five seed completes the top half. He's from Wales, and it's Rian O'Sullivan, and Rian will play... Number 14. Number 14, which is England's Suzanne Smith. Or number 18. Or number 18, which is uh, the lady from New Zealand, Victoria Monaghan. Into the bottom half of the draw now, and the number two seed, Eileen de Graff. Number 13. We'll play number 13, which is the New Zealander, Nicole Reno. Or number 20 which is the Swede, Anna Forsmark, Northern Europe Regional Qualifier. Then on to Lorraine Wynne stanley 2019 finalist. Number 16. We'll play either England's Joe Clements or... Number 17. Is the lady from Hungary, Veronica Ihas, who had that wonderful 164 outshot last year, the highest ladies outshot at Lakeside. On to the number three seed, the four times Lakeside World Champion, Lisa Ashton, and she will play... Number nine. Either number nine, Australia's Kim Mitchell, or... Number 21. From the Netherlands, Priscilla Steenbergen. And finally, in the ladies' draw, we have the number six seed, debutante, the only debutante that's a seed, which is Wendy Harper of, the New, Ze of New Zealand, and she will play... Number 11. Either England's Kirsty Hutchinson, finalist last year, of course, or number 23. 23, which is Japan's Mayumi Uchi. And that completes your ladies' draw. We now move to the draw for the boys for the 2023 WDF Lakeside World Championships. Four boys in the draw. We have Hungary, Germany, Ireland, and the Netherlands all represented. So it is an open draw. All four balls are in the bag. Trina and Scott are drawing alternately. That was the word I was looking for. So, Trina, first. Number one. Number one is the Hungarian Andras Borbeli. He's won 12 youth titles, and he's actually won a senior title as well. And he will play... Number three. Which is the Irishman Adam D, who has two WDF youth titles to his name. 
And the second of our semi-finals, we'll see number... Two. Number two, which is the German Mats Theobald. And he should play... Number, number four. four. Which is Bradley van der Velden of the Netherlands. So that completes your boys' draw for the World Championships. OK, the final draw that we make today is the 2023 WDF Lakeside World Championship for the girls. There are two girls in the draw. Very simply, they will play each other in the final, but we just do the draw to decide uh, who will be throwing for the ball in the uh, practice room before the game first. So we have the two girls are Christina Turai of Hungary and Aurora Fohesato from Italy. And Trina... He's going to draw the first ball, which is number, number two. two. Sorry, Trina, I was taking your role. Which is Aurora Focasato from Italy. And just That for, must mean I've got number one. Which indeed is Kristina Churai from Hungary. Worth mentioning, of course, that that means that Hungary are represented in all four tournaments. The only country to be represented in all four. So well done Very to Hungary. Good. That completes the draw for the 2023 WDF Lakeside World Championships. So with the draw now completed, we're going to take a look at uh, one or two of the ties. And I'm going to ask both Trina and Scott. I, I know I mentioned to this before we sat down. Who did you think could go a decent way, a long way in the tournament? Um, Trina, should we start with the ladies? What, do you, what, what were your... Two choices, I think you were looking to make. Yeah, um, well, you can't exclude Bo. Bo's a current champion. Um, she's going to want to hold on to that. And, uh, you, you know, she's been playing so well this, this year. And, uh, mm. you know, you'd be a fool to bet against her. But you Tough know, draw, though, right? It is a tough and draw. Lorraine Hyde yeah. or Laura Turner, whichever yes. one comes through that game will play against Bo. It is a tough draw, yeah. Um, Lorraine and Laura, I mean, they've, they've both been playing well on the, on the PDC Women's yep. Series this yep. year as mm. well. So... Um, yeah, that's going to be a tough one. Tougher, tougher than it could have been, given yes. some of those. Yeah, Lorraine yeah. Has, been, uh, has been playing well, and Laura plays down at my county in Hampshire and has been doing well as well. So, yeah, yep. yep. interesting. And who is the second lady that you picked? Uh, Lisa. Lisa yep. Ashton. I'm yep. going to go for Lisa. Um, yeah, I think, I think she'll... She's, again, had another good season. So um, She's come off, off, an, off of an operation. Is Yeah. How do you, no, I know you know Lisa really well. How's that mm. gone, do you know? Yeah, it's gone really well. So, um, you know... Um, she'll be fighting she, fit, ready healing. for the second. She'll, she'll be ready. She'll make sure she's ready. And uh, Lisa's drawn either Kim Mitchell or Priscilla Steenberg. And because Priscilla last year was a debutante, came in really late and did really well. I think she got quarterfinals last yeah. year, so... Again, Priscilla's been playing well on the on mm -hmm. the tour again. Um, so uh, I don't know much about Kim, to be fair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, you know uh, that's going to be a tough draw mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Scott. Well, I, I went with Bar. Just spent a week with Bar at the World Cup, and yeah. I just I just find her totally amazing. I haven't really spent any time with her before that. And uh, what I just what a lovely individual person, and and I think that she has uh, what it takes to to win it again and go back to back. But. Um, my second pick would probably be Rihanna Sullivan because I really think that she yeah. she has the game in the big moments. She really does. You know, the big moments don't phase her. And I think if she can get herself in the right frame of mind, mm -hmm. she she could go on and win it too. So Rihanna's drawn Suzanne Smith or Victoria Monaghan, uh, the, the winner from there in, as her first round game, if you like, or her first game of the tournament. Interestingly, though, uh, look at the seedings make a lot of difference here so Bo and Rihanna in the same half along with Dieter and Anka in that top half where it's Eileen and Lisa are in the bottom half mm. of the draw so we can't have a Bo versus Rihanna final but we could have a Bo versus Lisa or a Rihanna versus Lisa final given your, yeah. your choices so yeah plenty to look out for on the plenty ladies. to look out for good stuff what about the men then so two names can I start with Scott this time yeah go on okay I'm, what gives you time to think? Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm a big Andy Barton's fan. I I think the way yeah. that he plays, once he get, once he gets hold of you, he doesn't let you go usually. Mm. And uh, I think you know he's he's done his apprenticeship. He's been around for a little while now. Yeah. Um, number one I seed. I think he's number one seed, and I've not picked him because he's number one seed. I think it's kind of coming to the point where possibly it's his time. Yeah. He's been around long enough now. He knows the game well enough. Um, We'll see, but I, I just, I just, yeah. just it's just a name that I, I just, yeah. I do like the way that he plays. Tricky opponent that Scott Marsh 
Sebastian Bialecki, which the winner of that is the one that Andy will play. And, uh, and if I remember right, so he's the number one. Gary Stone at 16 seed means they would meet in the 16 as well. And Gary Stone's been playing really well as well. So, well, that, but that's, they all a, <laughs> that's, that's a massive game, Scott Marsh and um, Bialecki yeah. before him, yeah. before they get to him. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, he'll sit back in his armchair and watch that one with interest, I'm sure. Very much so. And second choice? Uh, I've gone with Leonard Gates. You know, he's, he's, he's a late one in. Yep. But he's had such a good year mm. on the World Seniors mm -hmm. Darts Tour. And, uh, you know, he just seems to lap those big moments up. There, Nothing really seems to It's get the dancing to him. that does it's it, the... isn't it, when he comes on and starts dancing? <laughs> no, 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 I don't think it's that. I just, I, I think it's what's between his ears, not what's at his feet. I, I just think that he he just enjoys those big moments. Good. He enjoys playing yeah. on TV. And, and uh, you know, it, 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 as an outsider that wasn't a seed, I think it, it was an easy it's choice for me. Yeah, it's interesting you say that as a non-seed, of course. Whilst we've been talking about the, the, the ladies that are waiting for a game to be played, Leonard would be playing in the first, across the first weekend. He's drawn Brian Corbett, the New Zealand qualifier. The winner of that goes on to play last year's finalist, Thibaut Trickle. So, yeah. whichever... I, you know, goes through from um, Leonard and Brian. I'm guessing T Roll will be sitting there thinking, oh, that could have been a little bit, could have been easier. It's turned into a big part of the draw, hasn't it? Yeah. And a, and a big swing in sort of in mm -hmm. the draw, whichever those games go. Yeah. So, Trina, your two against the field? Um, I'd also agree with Scott with Leonard Gates. So, both of you going for a non seed, yeah. Well, great. because because of the fact, like like Scott said, he's had such a good um, time on the on the seniors tour. Mm. You know, he's done really well. And um, uh, if he can take that form into into Lakeside, I think he's yep. got a really good chance. Yep. Um, my second would be um, James Hurrell, because James, is, okay. he's playing really well at the moment, notice. So, uh, you know, it, again, if he can carry that through, yep. um, I think he's got a good chance as well. So he plays the winner of Jordan Brooks or Dennis Nielsen. So, yeah, again, look, there, there are no easy draws, right? When, no, once you get to not. Lakeside, and there are so many debutants, as we talked about. But, yeah, Jordan and Dennis have both been there before, so they've got a bit of experience. So, uh, yeah, an interesting one. Yes, very. We shouldn't, of course, leave out the champion. Neither of you picked Neil Duff, which I don't know whether I'm surprised or not surprised. Neil just won a, a, a tournament on the weekend, playing well. Your champions that are, have, have been back to defend, what's it like for, for Neil and for Bo to go back as, to defend? Um, it's, it's a lovely place to go back. I, I, I enjoyed every second of going back as the champion. The, the pressure is different. Yeah. There's, there's no two ways about it. But um, you've got to go and enjoy it. You've got to yeah. go enjoy the moment of coming back in because you don't know how many times in your life you'll ever walk back in. Some do it 10 times and show <laughs> off. Um, for me, it was just the once and I enjoyed every part of the week yeah. that, that I went back as champion. What do you think, Trina? Uh, yes, you know, it's, it, it is a, a very memorable place, mm. Lakeside. And, uh, and, and Neil, uh, you know, um, I didn't exclude him. Same, uh, same as what Bo's going to... He's current world champion. Uh, he's going he's gonna to want to hold on to that, yeah. and he'll, he'll be doing his best. And like you say, he has played well, but just them two stick out for me. Yeah, I, I think, know. to be honest, he'll thank us for not picking him. Yeah, yeah, it could yes, be the case. Yeah, it could, could be, be the case that he'll thank us for not picking him, yeah. yeah. And Neil will play Moreno, Bluemore, Gavel, Takat, so... There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There's the views of our expert panel, 10 times world champion and a, and a one times world champion, giving us their views. We thank you for joining us for the 2023 uh, Lakeside World Championship draw. Um, you can get your tickets at eventbrights.co.uk. The championships are the 2nd through to the 10th of December, and we'd love to see you at the home of world darts, the Lakeside.